take a look or move on. All right. You got something to say? That's the old one. Right. Your loss. A caravan of Osara make camp in the still sands south of here. We've tolerated them so far. But their leader's a greedy profiteer. He steps out of line, I'll gladly send the whole camp packing. That's fair enough. Sounds like the Osram are taking quite a risk being out here. Are you I should talk to, to them. Find out what they're doing. Uh, Safe travels. Hold on, guys. I knew that was gonna happen. I didn't knew that was gonna happen, so. You can trust the Tanakh right. when it comes to Good. commerce. If you need a merchant, here I am. Don't let the pretty landscapes fool you. It's deadly out here. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Do a quick save. All right. So we're doing Broken Sky, which is right there. Um, okay, so let's look at quests. Broken Sky. Okay, yeah, so I believe last where I left off, because it has been a good minute since I played this. We're going after the three of the um, programs. So we chose that one because of the level. Okay. All right. Okay, side mission. The roots are blind. And breaking even. What is breaking? That one's actually a lot closer, so we might be able to do that one. Rebel camps and relics and shit like that. So, all right. No books. All right. Um. Really? I want that one. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. All right. Okay, so... Let's go back to the map. Okay, hold on. Because there's still so much stuff over here that we, like, we need to explore. I mean, look at all this. All right, anyways. Okay, let's do a side quest. Um, I 
Let's do let's do that one. That one seems to be the closest. Right? It said closest. Where's that one? That one's way over there. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to do this one. We'll do that one. Level 18. We may be a little bit under I can't level, sell if you don't buy. but it is what it is. Holy crap. I didn't see that. Man, there are so many things over here. The land out here is sick with blight, too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. But a cook can do something with this. But to knock the settlement, I'll have to watch my step. Fighting. <laughs> Can't fire discovery. Oh, I see it. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. 
I'll keep that in mind. Huh. All right. Wait, I didn't want to come over here. There's another fire up there. Chaplain telling you the battles to be guided by the, the real battle is arguing with you. A lot of wounded. What's going on? Enemies should always recognize you. Could you imagine honor awaits you? Charging at an enemy blade in hand? Outlander, are you in need of supplies? All right. Another time. Oh, we have upgrades. All right. So sitting here slowly, just upgrading stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. There's a fire up here. get those hearts we don't get water and everyone dies <sighs> i'm going back to the pens i'll gut those machines myself so machines did this an easterner with a hair like blood the outlander from the embassy you killed greta regala's champion he was one of ours it's aloy and i'm not looking for any trouble uh, maybe i could use some trouble right about now out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It's harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? Mm. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. 
Now, the sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. I had to leave half my hunters behind and fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. All right. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Hmm. He didn't look too happy about that. Like, yeah, Doesn't sound dumbass. like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. <laughs> I heard him calling you chaplain. I'm dehydrated. What I don't know what mean? I'm saying. It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the desert clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path, and their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Takaro's decision. He had ah. no choice but to face her in combat. Takaro won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help I was waiting for him to say something like, like stupid. better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll meet I you have there. something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> okay. All right, there's something back here. Well, good thing I have a little something called strategy. Good day. Oh, was it up? You must want something today. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh, you're just that. Scorpion. It all looks the same. It'd have been nice if you'd have added different freaking. Okay, so let's look. What do they got? Scorpion skews. Let's 
Spike Stock Shells, Salted Lizard Bites, Wings of the Tin. Nah. Well, I do my best to keep customers happy. Man, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of like cold in the cold in the house right now. I don't know why. All right. Oh, was there a fire right there that we missed? Unknown shelter. Another campfire. Okay. Oh. Crap. Didn't want to do that. Make our way over there. Champion killer. Well met. Over here. Lord. Wait, is that where that one guy's at? Uh, you can wait. Aloy, here to help me hunt down those machines, I hope. Nah, not right now, dude. Alright. I didn't realize he was that close. Should know what to do with this. All right. Well, I thought there was something there, but there's not. Smoke. I think there's a camp. Maybe I should check it out. That might be the Osirim camp that Nods told me about. I should talk to their leader. Camp nowhere. Alright, machine 
I know, right? I must be closing in on the signal. How about more west? Everywhere you look, more blasted mountains. Have I got news for you, Red? Do you? One of our scouts found some ancient ruins southwest of here. Had a look for myself, but came out empty-handed. I can't shake the feeling we missed something. Oh well. Must be my disappointment talking. Maybe you'll have better luck next time. I can always check out the ruins myself. See if there's anything that the Alcera missed. Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Ooh, I'm cold. Excuse me? Hold the hammer? I know you. You're that Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! The savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delver. <sighs> Chief Delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine Delvewares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up. Shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body. One of your Delvers, I guess, but... No sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the Delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? Was there a Karja traveling with your expedition? A man by the name of Amatis? We always pick up a few travelers on the road. A Karja here, Vanuk there. Never learn their names, though. They don't stick around long. You see those but machines off in the background? Know. What the hell was all that about? The whole getting to know people thing. He's out surveying the area, trying to find some other route out of here. Should be back later, if he doesn't get himself killed. Right. So this camp. It's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The Delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. It's like those machines were like, we should just run through this camp, camp and nowhere. just destroy it. And they're I like, nah, we're waiting. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delver's only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by storms and machines so fierce that you wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins' depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. Like yourself? Of course. Eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? 
That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. You like my looks, right? But they hide all kinds of the only one around here. Alright, what does she got? That girl was wound up tighter than a twist. Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? Never got her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Alright. Oh, whoop your ass right here, boy. All right. So where are we headed to now? Oh, we're headed right there. All right. 